Usually patients present from their primary care provider because they have shortness of breath, cough, breathing uh, problems. So once they got referred to us, we start you know, asking them questions and we do a breathing test. And the breathing test will tell us, number one, if they do really have COPD, number two, how bad is their COPD? It's, it's very important it's because if COPD could be mild, moderate, severe, and very severe. And the treatment is very different depending on the severity, the severity level. Canem Clark has really tried to um, change the type of testing that we offer as far as our pulmonary function lab. Pulmonary function testing is basically a group of diagnostic testing that um, s tells us how well your lungs are functioning. The first one is a spirometry test. Um, you'll get inside the booth here, you'll place your mouth on the mouthpiece and you'll, um, I'll just tell you to breathe normal and then I'll have you take a big fast breath in and then you're gonna blow it out hard and fast until I tell you to stop. And then I'll tell you a big fast breath in again. The second test, it measures your lung muscles. The next test we can go into is the DLCO. Um, it's a diffusion capacity test. What that measures is to see how well your lungs are distributing oxygen to your body. Here at Camden Clark, our pulmonary function testing is real critical to your care. Um, if you have already have COPD and you just feel short of breath still and you know, you just kind of blowing it off for old age and, and things like that, weight gain, um, come in and see your doctor and let them prescribe the test for you. We also have a pulmonary stress machine now, which will help the cardiologist decide, is it a heart or is it a lung issue? It does complete pulmonary function testing. It does cardiopulmonary stress testing, and it does nutritional testing. So we have one system that can cover the myriad of all different aspects. So we can, we can help the cardiologist out, we can help the pulmonary physicians, the general practitioners, the dietitians. It's got a broad spectrum of uses in the facility. We do offer outpatient services, so maybe you have um, a snoring and you have sleep apnea, then you would go through our uh, sleep lab and get tested to see if you need support, BiPAP, CPAP um, at night. It is very important for someone to have a good night's sleep, especially with like COPD. Um, if they uh, have sleep apnea, that could exasperate that condition for them. It could cause them to get to have more shortness of breath and feel more fatigued. Um, a lot of times, uh, if we get a patient in that has COPD and we're able to diagnose that they also have obstructive sleep apnea, and we treat that sleep apnea, that will help them with their breathing and help the condition so they don't have those exasperations and end up in the hospital or taking a lot of medications and stuff like that. We normalize our sleep just to justify that why we feel tired. We can't, uh, we can't do that because that can be an underlying issue going on there. Um, if you're feeling tired throughout the day, if you're feeling uh, that you did not get a restful night's sleep, then there could be something going on like uh, sleep apnea. Um, if your partner, your bed partner says, hey, you snore or you stop breathing, those are pretty good signs that somebody may have sleep apnea. To uh, have a sleep study, you do need to see a physician. It can be a primary, your primary care physician, it could be a sleep physician, pulmonologist. They will make recommendations on what type of testing they'd like if they, they feel that you need to have testing. Candom Clark has really strived to do a continuum of care as far as taking care of our patients with lung disease. We have intensivists that are actually our pulmonologists that take care of the patients once they're admitted with a, a severe uh, episode of their breathing into the ICU and they follow them throughout their stay at the hospital. And that goes one step further. Not only are our pulmonologists here 24-7, but they see the patients once they've been discharged. That care continues the whole time. We have uh, four pulmonologists in, in, at Camden Clark who are working together to provide the best quality evidence-based medicine, up-to-date care 24-7, um, starting from the outpatient clinic, including the inpatient in ICU, we are available 24-7 to provide the best care. We have a great uh, pulmonary rehab center at Camden Clark where a group of people uh, trained and specialized in breathing problems working with the, with the patient and we have a very great success with that. Almost every people that went through that process, they tell 
as uh, they can breathe better, they can do things better, they can walk further, uh, and they are able to enjoy quality of life better.